Okay, so this is my cash register set up. Um, it's a Sharp XEA106, and um, I just got set up. It came with a very, very, very small receipt roll, which I'm using right now just to kind of test out. I'm definitely going to have to get more receipt roll because there was hardly anything on that. Um, otherwise, I also don't have the um, batteries for it. So um, it does plug in and I have it plugged in right now, but it tells you that you should have um, batteries before you program it to save your data. So, um, in case like the p power goes out or something, but anyways, so, um, it seems to operate fine. I have not set it up because you are supposed to insert the batteries before you actually set it up, but I did, you know, insert the paper roll. I turned it on. It has this, um, L right there for low battery because I have no batteries in it. Um, but that'll disappear when the batteries come go in and then when the batteries get low that'll disappear and then you're supposed to replace it I guess. So I can lock the drawer or unlock it so that if I press the button when this cash register is on um, it won't pop out if it's locked if you press the button but um, it will if you unlock it. So I unlocked this I think and I'll test out for you. Okay. So it just shoots out and then it starts um print. so i'm gonna feed up the receipt now and just print um the uh date and some stuff like that on this so yeah um anyways so you have your, you know, your bills, and then your money tray, which lifts up, because then you can put, um, slide, you know, stuff through your drawer. Um, for example, let's see if you slide that through, like a check or a receipt or something, then it's just in there waiting for you, and you open up your register next. And then you just, you know, I'm going to lock it because um, you know, see, and then that's what happens if you don't, if you lock, have it locked, it just, you know, tries to pop out, but doesn't, and then it's still does that um, printing thing. Um, so that's the cash register. Um, I also am testing my wax right now. I got the rest, um, of some clothes off, the most that I can bring in, I think, because I have no more room to stack clothing. So I've stacked the clothing up there so far and up there. And then there's the, you know, samples. And then I'll show you my order that I got, um, to package my products mostly. So, basically, um, I ordered this from a supplier. I also ordered um, a few more essential oils that were cheaper on their website than on um, the other website I was using. So, first I got um, lime essential oil, and these are two ounce bottles. Um, patchouli. Tea tree. And peppermint maybe some other time I'll go into um, the uses of essential oils um, and whatnot if you like I don't know but um and then I got a bunch of bottles oh actually I'll show you this stuff first before I show you the packaging and then I got jojoba oil it's supposed to be really good for your skin and um, good on like almost all skin types. So I thought this would be a really good one to do a um, body wrap with. 
end. Then I also got these um, jojoba beads and I got them in pink melon. And they also had like blue and green and um, they had another color too, purple maybe. But um, so I got those and they're a lot smaller than I thought they would be. But what you do is you just add a little bit to, you know, your um, product and then like a cleanser or um, something like that or a shower gel. And then it, it gently exfoliates your skin basically. And I'm just buying it this way instead of buying a exfoliator because it's um, cheaper. And then I can also, you know, do it per skin, skin type. All right, so um, I also got these um, bottles and I got four ounce bottles because I thought that um, that would be a good size for facial products is four ounces. So, um, they're just, um, heat, you know, bottles or whatever, um, clear bullet bottles in four ounces. Um, I got 48 of those wholesale. And then I got, um, my jars. I didn't get wholesale actually. I got 12, so I had to pay... Um, full price because right now I'm kind of testing out packaging so I don't want to get stuck with 48 pieces that I hate and don't want to use so I got 12 um, jars for the most part I won't need jars but um, for heavy heavy creams and thick products jars will be best I probably then I got these spa jars and um, I got three of these and I thought this would be good for um, maybe the makeup bar or um, storing product in and you know you could buy more for a lesser price or not a lesser price than this but a lesser price per each but I'm as like I said I'm testing these out so if I find that I really like them I'll probably end up getting more I got 12 of these um, sprayers for my toners and I got um, these small treatment pumps which is the main reason why I went with the um, these bottles the bullet bottles and clear because I really wanted these treatment pumps because I thought that they would be really good for customer use um, and I didn't want a huge treatment pump, so I thought this would be perfect for facial products. They're just tiny little, um, little pumps to pump out your product, like cleanser or something. So, and I think they'll be good. So, then I got these, um, caps to go with my jars, 12 of them. And then... I got 48 of these um, tops to go with these bottles and then I'm going to use the spray and the petite pumps on these bottles as well so I'll have some extras but I'm planning to get more um, you know as products sell. And then I got these for samples which um, just are a little tiny. They're not tiny, but um, they're just little jars, and then I can put like a little round label on it. And then I got these two, and this is 50, 50 little pipettes, and these pipettes are going to be great for um, adding essential oils to products, and um, at the beauty bar, these will be good, and then um because these essential oils, you know, they don't come with droppers or anything. They're So you have to have like a pipette or something. All right, well, so I thought I'd just show you um, what I got. So, and um, a little update. So um, that's pretty much it for now.